months and a few years, I don't know when, but decides to retire to Nkanda and um, the, the next NC conference. There's no one who can make you go back to the NC. No one. <laughs> no, but, but let me give you a scenario. There's no Nelson Mandela. There's no Omar Tambo. There's no Peter Mukawa. They all die to the NC. All you have is a group of individuals. But we had a dynamic young man here this morning, Paul Machatile. He's, he's a new generation NC leader. Paul belongs to that elite group that continues to milk our resources. <laughs> <laughs> to be behave brave. Let's hope he won't say you distorted him <laughs> on what he said about Jacob Zuma. Because uh, the fact that he said, I hope he said that he doesn't agree with the uh, uh, was report. I was not here. I was going to tell him, repeat yeah. it. Yeah. So that when, <laughs> when, when the newspapers quote you on that, you must not say they didn't hear you properly. <laughs> All of you tomorrow will still be here in South Africa. Paul is going to correct what he said before him. <laughs> so there's nothing brave about him. He's part of a mess. Paul presided over a government that put a lot of money in the so-called Alexandra Renewal. Till today, Alexander looks like a squatter camp. Where did the money go? Where was Paul? Paul was at the center of that money. Before he tells us about the Tleco money, he must tell us about the Alexander Renewal. I speak to him. I don't agree with him. You know? uh, but I speak to him and he knows I don't agree with him. Okay, so and uh, there are a lot of elders in the ANC that I speak to. I speak to Winnie Mandela. I speak to Castle Matali. Uh, because our relationship in politics went beyond political relationship and became that of a, a family. Uh, friends. So even if those friends had to influence an NC conference to take a resolution to build bridges with the EFF, you wouldn't accept that? We really tried. And if I can say no to win, who else can come and talk to me? <laughs> There's no one amongst those Mickey Mouses that will have the necessary courage to can convince No one. I told Winnie that they don't like you. We know you are suffering and you are calling us to come back so that we can join the queue of suffering people. <laughs> we are not coming back to that organization. Okay, but the ANC is not the only party that has problems. Your party has had some problems also. There are some Which people... ones? Which ones? <laughs> but you've, you've expelled some, some people who are quite high ranking in your party. Well, you know, EFF is a very dynamic organization because. It's not constituted by celebrities. <laughs> and anyone who defines But then why himself, did you recruit them to serve in your focus? No one was recruited. They came and joined. <laughs> no one was, I didn't go, I don't even know where they stay. So I wouldn't have recruited them. So they came and then they wanted to behave like celebrities within a collective and the collective rejected them. So you didn't go to Gaten's house for all these famous sushi parties? And I mean, bring serious name. We're talking serious issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are you willing to build bridges with? And Musi Maimani is the new leader of the DA. Helen Zilla said she didn't want to cooperate oh, with you uh, on a, in, uh, any kind of coalition government. But next year, we are heading for a very contested election. The opportunity may arise to change power in some of the metros, or some of the municipalities, to a coalition uh, uh, government. Would you be willing to cooperate with the Democratic Alliance? Well, I, 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 I work, cooperation might mean something different. I, 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 I support anyone that advances the national interest. If Musi stand up in parliament and say, say Zuma must pay back the money, or that Zuma must release uh, the Ganda report, I will stand up and support it. Uh, in the same way, uh, if the ANC still has got some people who have got uh, some sense of responsibility, 
who, who, who may take chances to stand up and say something sensible, I would support them. Uh, uh, so in the next year elections, we're not getting into cooperation. We're getting into contractual relationship. So whoever wants the votes of the EFF will have to come and bring us a, a, a yearly contract which stipulates what people are going to benefit that year by when. And that if those are not met, the relationship is automatically off. No, but a coalition agreement in municipalities of the metro, say there's an opportunity to cooperate city of Johannesburg, uh, that you, you, what will the yearly agreement do because it's a five-year term? You, you know, you need to tell us that uh, within a year, I will go and do one, two, three in Alexander. I will go and do one, two, three in Deep Slot. Because budgets are allocated yearly. They are not allocated five years. We shouldn't wait for five years. It must be a yearly thing. So we say, this is what I can do in Deep Slot. If you don't do it, then we are off. And uh, if none of the parties there is committed to deliver such things, then we will rather not engage in any form of a relationship. It must be based on program because our people are tired of being fed theory which lacks practice. So they've listened to theory for 21 years. They all know how slogans sound like. All they want now is action. <laughs> what are we talking about um, 